different samples will require different sample folders. By default, the system will not have any sample holder in place, so you will need to choose the one that is most appropriate for your kind of sample. The most common ones we will actually keep inside the enclosure to ensure they're warm and don't need to warm up uh, before you start. And they will be either in this corner, or on, rather on this side, like so. That's one possible position for them. Or, if they're not there, we will keep them in this little cabinet here. So, whichever sample you need, you will grab the corresponding sample folder. For this training video, I will use a slide, so I'm going to use this one. To position the slide on the microscope, we want to make sure that we are on the lowest mag objective, 10x, and that we are all the way at the bottom of the travel range, which we can confirm by looking here or by moving it down by pressing this button. It can't right now because it's already at the bottom. You'll notice that the sample holders have a red dot. The sample holder on the microscope also has a red dot. To make it easier to access and see it, we're going to turn on the light on the enclosure here. We are going to pull apart these two things so that we can push back the condenser arm, and we're going to open these doors so we can access the inside of the enclosure. You can see that there is a red dot there. That red dot should be aligned with this red dot, and we can carefully place this into position, and it will be held magnetically. Now once we have the sample holder that we want, we can go ahead and put on our sample. In my case, that will be a slide. All of these holders additionally have magnetic attachments that allow you to secure the sample firmly in place. Those will be on this little shelving unit here. And at the moment they're in a bag, they might be in some other container in the future. So for the slide, we have two magnetic holders Like so, these magnetic attachments allow us to secure our sample in place. In this case, like so, on that side, and on that side. If we are working with a live sample, which is not the case today, but I'll show you anyway, we also want to put the lid on this holder. The lid will always be inside the chamber. Uh, at the moment, I have it leaning against that side there. So I'm going to grab the lid and put it on. And you can see it has a tab. The tab should go in the bottom left. It doesn't fit else. So it's pretty obvious how this is supposed to be put together. Once you've made all the necessary attachments to the sample, make sure to close the enclosure. These pivoting this arm back, sealing it back up, and turning off the light.